Welcome to the 20th lecture in Abstract Algebra. The topics that we'll explore in this lecture include the fundamental theorem of finitely generated abelian groups and decomposable groups. Okay, so we'll start with the exercises from the previous lecture. So the first exercise we are to find the index of the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 in the group of integers modulo 24 and find all cosets of this subgroup. So the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 is the group containing the elements 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 21. The order of this group is 8, and so the index of this subgroup in the group of integers modulo 24 is 24 divided by 8, which is 3, and so there are three distinct left cosets of the subgroup, and also three distinct right cosets of the subgroup. Now since the integers modulo 24 is a boolean, the left and right cosets of the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 coincide so the left coset containing the element 0 is the same as the right coset containing the element 0 and this is the cyclic subgroup generated by 3 containing the elements 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 21. The left coset containing the element 1 is the same as the right coset containing the element 1. And this is a set containing the elements 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, and 22. And the left coset containing the element 2 is the same as the right coset containing the element 2. And this is the set containing the elements 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, and 23. So the next exercise we'll state as a lemma, and I'm going to add one order to the exercise or to this lemma. So let G be a group with order less than or equal to 5, then the group G is abelian. So proof, since groups of prime order are cyclic, and therefore abelian, the groups of order Two, three, and five are abelian. Now a group of order one is the trivial group which is cyclic as it is generated by the identity and therefore abelian. Now let G be a group of order 4 
and suppose to the contrary, that the group G is not abelian, then there exist elements A and B in the group such that A is distinct from the identity, B is distinct from the identity, and A times B is not equal to B times A. Now since a times B is not equal to B times A. We have that A times B is not the identity, and B times A is not the identity, since otherwise we have that B is the inverse of A, and so in that case we have that A times B is the same as B times A, which is the identity. Now, A times B is not equal to A, and A times B is not equal to B, since either of these cases contradicts the fact that a group has a unique identity, since neither B nor A are the identity, and similarly we have that B times A is not equal to A, and B times A is not equal to B. Now since A and B are elements in the group, a times B is in the group, and B times A is in the group. And so the elements, the identity, A, B, A times B, and B times A, are five distinct elements. in the group, and this contradicts the fact that the order of the group is 4, so by contradiction a group of order 4 is abelian, therefore a group of order less than or equal to 5 is abelian. So as a corollary of this lemma, let G be a group of order 4, then either the group is isomorphic to the integers modulo 4, or the group is isomorphic to the klein fear group. So proof, by the previous lemma, the group G of order 4 is a Boolean. Now if the group is cyclic, then it is a cyclic group of order 4 therefore is isomorphic 
to the integers modulo 4. Now if the group is not cyclic, then the order of each element distinct from the identity is 2 since the only element in a group with order 1 is the identity and an element of order 4 will generate the group and uh, again all the order of all elements in the group must divide the order of the group so let G be the group with the elements the identity x, y, and z, then since the order of x, y, and z is 2, we have that x squared is the same as y squared, which is the same as z squared, which is the identity. That is, each of these elements is its own inverse. So since the group is abelian and each element is its own inverse, we have that x times y is the same as y times x, which is z x times z is the same as z times x, which is y, and y times z is the same as z times y, which is x. That is, the Cayley table for the group G is the same as the Cayley table, or is identical to the Cayley table for the klein fear group, and hence the group is isomorphic to the klein fear group. So there are two distinct groups of order 4, that is a group of order 4 is isomorphic to either the integers modulo 4 or to the klein fear group, which itself is isomorphic to the direct product of the integers modulo 2 with itself. And so we have a complete description for finite groups up to order 5 and up to isomorphism. So a group of order 1 is the trivial group, a group of order 2 is isomorphic to the integers modulo 2, a group of order 3 is isomorphic to the integers modulo 3, a group of order 4 is isomorphic to either 
the integers modulo 4 or the direct product of the integers modulo 2 with itself and a group of order 5 is isomorphic to the integers modulo 5 and each of these groups are abelian. So next exercise we are to find the index of the cyclic subgroup generated by the element 1 1 and the direct product of the integers modulo 2 with the integers modulo 4 and find all cosets of this subgroup and determine is the direct product of the integers modulo 2 with the integers modulo 4 cyclic. So the square of the point 1 1 is 0 2 the cube of 1 1 is 1 3 and 1 1 to the fourth power is 0 0 and so the cyclic subgroup generated by the element 1 1 is the group containing the elements 0 0 0 2 1 1 and 1 3 The order of the subgroup is 4, and so the index of this subgroup and the direct product of the integers modulo 2 with the integers modulo 4 is 8 divided by 4, which is 2. And so there are two distinct left cosets of the subgroup and also two distinct right cosets of the subgroup. Now since the integers modulo 2 and the integers modulo 4 are abelian groups, the direct product of these groups is abelian. And so the left and right cosets of the subgroup generated by 1 1 coincide the left coset containing the point 0 0 is the same as the right coset containing the point 0 0 This is the set containing the elements 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, and 1, 3. The left coset containing the point 0, 1 is the same as the right coset containing the point 0, 1. And this is the set containing the elements 0, 1, 0, 3, 1, 0, and 1, 2.